Hello everyone, this is Emad and here is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 41. In this episode, I'm going to share with you 12 new changes in Google Apps that you need to know about. Before starting, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel if you are interested in this type of videos to get notified about my upcoming episodes. And now, let's begin. I will start with YouTube. And the first change is in the full screen view. Now we have much more controls to choose from. We have the like and dislike. We can open the comments section from within the full screen view. You can also add the video to your watch later playlist or you can also tap and hold on the same button like this and it will automatically show you the available playlists you have so you can choose the one you want. You can also share the video directly from the full screen view like this. You can also check the up next videos by tapping on this small thumbnail at the bottom right corner and it says more videos. Tapping on it will show you the list of videos that will play next and you can also dismiss it using the X at the top right corner. You will also notice the ellipses has been replaced with a gear icon and that's also the case in the portrait view. The next change is in the share sheet. Now when I tap on share I see a new option here called with kids. And the tapping on it will show me all the kids accounts I have set up on my phone so I can share it directly. A change number three is in the counter. I'm not sure if this is a new feature or not but I found that tapping on the counter will change from the time elapsed to the time remaining. As you see here now it says 50 seconds. Tapping on it will show me the remaining time. Next Gboard. And now when you use any of the emojis you will see a new section on the left side for the suggested stickers. It's bigger than the rest and it has two expandable arrows. Tapping on it will show you a carousel with all the suggested options and you can close it using the X on the left side. You can also use it to mix multiple emojis and get the emoji kitchen stickers. I also found the number of suggested emojis is bigger. So for example when I use this one I'm getting four different options instead of two or three like before. But in other cases, you might only get three like this one. Next, Google Messages. And now when you go to Settings and then Advanced, you will see a new toggle here called Show iPhone Reactions as Emojis, which means if an iPhone user reacted to one of your text messages using iMessage, you will see these reactions as emojis. As an example, this is one of the screenshots that shows the difference between the two. This is how it looks before adding the feature and this is what we should expect in the future. And this is another part from an article by 9to5Google showing how these reactions from iMessage will be translated in Google Messages. Another minor tweak in Google Messages, when you take a look at the search bar you will see search images and videos and instead of search places like before. Next, Google Photos. And now when you go to your photo settings and then memories, you will see a new menu item called Featured Memories. And from here you can choose what type of featured memories you want to automatically create. You can choose between previous years, recent highlights and themed memories. Now let me show you a small tip in Google Photos that I didn't know about before, which is the ability to search for photos using emojis. So for example, when I put a dog emoji and then hit the search key, I'm getting the photos of dogs in my gallery. So you can use whatever type of emoji you want and it will try to get you related photos. So for example, when I use the beach emoji, here are the beach photos I have. So instead of typing the whole word, you can just put an emoji and hit search. Next, Google Chrome. And the first change is under the home page. This is a screenshot I took earlier and it shows a new section here called continue browsing that includes the last web page I was checking. Tapping on this chip will take me immediately to this web page. This new continue browsing section only appears when you stop using Chrome for a while and then open a new tab. But once you open the page under this section, it will disappear and then it will come back again once the same scenario happens. Chrome on desktop also got a new share button that includes a lot of useful shortcuts under the same menu, like the ability to copy the link, send to your devices, QR code, cast, save page as, in addition to quickly share the link on social media like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the 12 new changes I wanted to share with you. Please let me know in the comments if you got your hands on any new feature that I missed in this episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.